Hey there, Colette here with a super fast video today about how to just get so much more out of your day, your week, your month, your year. So I've got three productivity tips. I don't know what I did there. Three, three productivity tips for you that I have used over the past, ooh, I don't know, seven to 10 years, and they have seriously skyrocketed my ability to get things done. Because guess what? I used to be like probably most people where I got nothing done, <laughs> practically. Um, for example, when I first left school, okay, I left high school, went to musical theater school, dropped out of musical theater school, and then fell into a deep depression, great. <laughs> Now, one of the things that was so hard was that I couldn't figure out how to get anything done. Like, in school, I had been a straight-A student, and then as soon as I left school, it was as though all my ability to get things done had disappeared. Now, this applies to our first tip, my first tip for you, and that is deadlines. The most important thing you can do for yourself if you're at all like me and you find it difficult to get things done is give yourself a deadline. Now here's the problem. If you're just the only one who gives yourself the deadline and there's no external factor whatsoever, you're probably gonna be able to wiggle out of it. So the, what I did to finally move myself into a place where I was able to get things done is I paid for and signed up for five theater festivals. So at the time, my main focus was actually acting and I wanted to do a solo show. The only way that I was able to get this done and actually complete a project, because up until this point I hadn't completed any projects since high school, which sounds so sad, but it's true, is giving myself these hardcore deadlines where if I didn't finish my play, if I didn't finish writing the play, if I didn't rehearse it, I would have paid a couple thousand bucks for nothing. So these were hard deadlines. Now, some people don't like the word deadline because it has the word dead in it. I think it's a great word because it reminds you that if you don't finish the project, you're dead meat to yourself in your own mind. So give yourself a deadline is the most just effective way to start getting things done. So tell everybody your deadline. Make sure that you're accountable to some external factor. The time that you give yourself for something is how long it will take, but also, if you do not actually have enough time, you will not get your most important projects done. So let's just for, talk about the first piece. The time that you give yourself to get something done is how long it will take. Whatever it is that motivates you, whether it's big goals or small goals, just choose something. Give yourself a shortened time limit. If you give yourself the next four years, that's how long it's gonna take. If you give yourself the next three months, that's how long it's gonna take. Something that I suggest is just take a look at the stuff in your life that you hate right? Make a list of all the things you're doing right now that you can't stand. What are the things that you don't love doing that are annoying you, that feel like a waste of time, um, that are not that fulfilling? Make a list of all these things and see which ones you can either delete, get rid of completely, automate. Sometimes things that we do can just be automated, like buying groceries. You can actually automate that or delegate it. Is there somebody else who can do this thing for you? Or can you just reduce it? Can you reduce it to half? But take a look, see how you can cut those things away, eliminate them so that you have time to do the stuff that you really wanna do. Okay, this last one is so important. Before I tell you this last one, which is like, it's the most, it really, it is just the most useful thing ever. But anyway, if you're liking this video, make sure you subscribe. Um, I'm making more videos about filmmaking, creativity, storytelling, and video production, and tips to help you achieve your most important creative goals and dreams. If you want more of that, then subscribe. Okay, last tip. It is the five project rule. I did not invent this. I'll put a link to the book that I learned this from in the description box below. But this is it, the five project rule in the most simplest form. As human beings, we have a limited amount of cognitive ability on a daily basis. We also have a limited number of things we can just carry in our mind in an ongoing basis and work on. And so over time, people who manage projects a lot have come to realize that most of us, most of us regular human beings cannot handle more than five projects at a time. Now, what is a project? A project is anything that has more than one step. Like if I go and I grab a glass of water and I drink it, that's not a project, I just needed some water. But if I think to myself, Clay, you're not very good at staying hydrated. You need to get better at staying hydrated. 
oh, I just created a project for myself because that is more than one step. I'm going to have to figure out how to get better at staying hydrated. There has to be like a system in place. Then I have to work the system. Then I have to analyze if it's working. Then I have to adjust. That is a project. It sounds ridiculous. Like getting better at staying hydrated, that's actually a project. You have projects in your personal life, in your creative life, and if you run a business, in your business life. If you're an employee, then obviously you have projects at work. I think that if you're an employee and you have projects at work, then you can consider just your entire job one project, right? That whole job is one project, okay? So that means you have four projects left. If you have a lot of really important creative projects that just do not get finished. It is because you're doing too many projects at once. Part of this is also, it's about your cognition, yes, but it's also about motivation. It is really hard to stay motivated if you are not seeing discernible progress towards your end goal on your projects. I mean, there is just nothing worse than a project that just languishes. It really, it kills confidence and it kills motivation. So five projects will allow you to start finishing your projects get that motivation and that confidence to keep tackling projects. So combine, remember, what do we say? Deadlines with shortening up the amount of time to finish something and then the five project rule. And you are going to be so much more productive than you are currently. I absolutely guarantee it, okay? Remember, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more filmmaking, video production, creativity, storytelling tips, as well as some of my advice on how to make progress towards your most important creative goals and dreams. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.